Are you ready to nail party? I will be using my Give Me Spring collection. Silhouette, a cool creamy gray. Blossom, a soft lavender. Pixie, a mauve beige with lilac opal shimmer, along with my extra adhesion nail liquid. My competitive edge custom original double thick extra long nail forms. My natural nail powder. My crystal dappen dish. Clean it. My striper my bold striper, and my towelettes. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I will be using my crystal spray decanter, available in peach, gardenia, true love, a sandalwood vanilla, and fragrance free. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands. My nail has already been prepared and I'm going to apply my first coat of primer. And I always make sure my primer is in a primer holder so it doesn't spill. And I have a little towelette to dab off my brush. I'm going to dab my brush, prime the nail, so I don't oversaturate the nail. And then I wipe off my brush before I place it back into my primer so I don't contaminate my primer. Now I'm going to let this coat of primer dry. This will kill the germs on the nail and dry out the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply my nail form. I split the form, then hold on to the wings of the form with my thumbs facing my client. Put a nice curve in the form. Place this curve underneath the free edge. Stick down your sides. Stick down the wings and secure your form. The nail has already been prepared and I applied my first coat of primer and let this dry. This killed the germs on the nail and dried out all the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer right before I apply my acrylic. This promotes adhesion and helps eliminate lifting. I always dab my brush so I don't oversaturate the nail. Make sure you don't get any near the cuticle area. You don't want to get any on the skin. Then wipe off your brush before you place it back into your bottle so you don't contaminate your primer. And I always use a primer holder and a towelette. This will be a long nail, so I will be using two free edge balls. My first ball is a large ball, so I dip my brush all the way into my liquid and then just wipe away a little bit so I have a lot of liquid in my brush. Drag towards me. Pick up a nice large ball. Place this ball halfway down the nail form. Let it flow. One, two, three. Bring up the side. Bring up the side. Pat it out. And stroke it out just a little bit to thin it out. Get the shape how I like it. A little thinner. I'm going to taper this in a little bit more towards this tip. There we go. Straighten out the tip. Wipe off your brush. Tap down your powder. This is going to be a medium large ball. Tip your brush in. I'm going to wipe off just a little bit more liquid. It's going to be slightly smaller. Place this ball at the free edge area. Let it flow. One, two, three. And then stroke it out. Side. Side. Center. Get it nice and smooth. There we go. Wipe off your brush. My next ball is going to be a small ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe off a lot of liquid. Pick up a small ball. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. One, two, three. Stroke it out. Side, side, center. My next ball is a small ball. This is my cuticle ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe away a lot of liquid. Pick up a small ball. Place this ball a 32nd an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow. And then stroke it out. Side. Side. Center. And my fourth ball, I'm going to build up my stress area. This is a medium ball. Dip your brush in. 
Wipe off a little bit of liquid, so it's gonna be a little larger ball. Drag in your powder. Place this ball almost at the cuticle. Release a little liquid into it. Let it flow. I'm gonna stroke it out. Side, side, center. Blend the whole nail together, building up that nice arch. Wipe off your brush. The nail is no longer shiny and it's starting to dry, so now I'm going to squeeze my C-curve, starting down at the nail bed, working my way out towards the tip. Nice, even pressure. This makes the nail really strong, and it makes it nice and narrow. Gives a really pretty shape. I will be using my disposable 180 grit long-lasting zebra file, and this file has a special zinc oxide coating which makes it really smooth and easy to file. And I will be using my disposable clean finish buffer which is made out of material and not made out of paper. So when you buff, it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. You can also use it dry, wet, or with oil. And they're so easy to use. You just peel off the back, Stick it on. Peel off the back. And stick it on. You're ready. Now I'm going to score the edge of my file using my buffer. This way when I file around the cuticle area, it's nice and smooth. And I won't cut the skin. Now I'm going to file the nail in five steps. My first step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the left, holding the finger securely. I place the file underneath the nail, file straight out from the nail groove, so you get it nice and even. Step number two, file straight out from the nail groove on the right, placing the file underneath the free edge, hold the finger securely, file straight out, until it's nice and even. Step number three is the tip of the free edge, and this is going to be a square, so I hold my file straight up and down, hold the fingernail securely, and go back and forth. When the nail is flush with the file, you know you have a perfect square. Step number four is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. File down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. And there's a little road where you have acrylic, natural nail cuticle, and you place your file in that little road and get the product flush with the natural nail. Nice long strokes. Down on the side. Cross the top like a horseshoe pattern. Down on the other side. Down on the side. Across the top, down on the other side. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks, so you want to make sure it looks good from their angle. When it's no longer shiny, you know it's nice and even. There's no shiny spots. That means there's no dips in the nail. Now I'm going to buff my nail with my clean finish buffer. Nice long strokes, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, holding the finger and the nail securely, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Go around the cuticle area and make sure it's nice and smooth. Nice long strokes. And out towards the tip. Down on the sides, just make sure you get it nice and smooth. And then take off the sharp edges. Have the client go wash their hands with peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. 
Now I'm going to apply Flawless Base. This helps make your gel polish really smooth and helps eliminate peeling around the edges. Wipe away from you, a little bit towards you so you don't have too much. Place about 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. And then push towards the cuticle without touching. And then nice long strokes. Cure 40 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a UV. I will be applying Pixie to the entire nail. Wipe away from you. Move this lightly towards you. Place about 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle and push towards the cuticle without touching. Nice long strokes. Go all the way over to the side. All the way over to the side. Cap the tip. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to pour clean it into my crystal dappen dish. This is to keep my brushes clean. Now I'm going to place a dollop of Silhouette to my palette. And a dollop of Blossom. Using my striper, I drag my brush through Blossom. Both sides. Set your brush where you want to start. And then just drag it towards the tip. Again, drag through your blossom. Start your brush where you want to start your chevron and then drag towards the tip. Now you're going to do a five second quick here. Clean off your brush and your clean it. Very gently set it aside. You will be using it again later. Doing a quick cure for five seconds is especially important when you're doing a full set because it keeps your line from moving. Now I'm going to use my bold striper to fill in my chevron French. Maybe a little bit more than that. Just fill it in. Super easy. Just following your line. It's really easy to follow your line. And once you've filled it in, go to your other side. Get plenty of color and just start filling it in. Super easy. Once you get that line, this is the easy part. There we go. Put a little color on the tip there. Nice long strokes, filling it in. Cure 30 seconds in an LED or one minute in a UV. I'm going to clean off my brush and my clean it. Again, very gently. Just nice long strokes across your towelette. Keeping your brush nice and clean. Now I'm going to be using my long striper again. Now I'm going to drag my brush through silhouette. Make sure I get plenty on both sides. I'm going to place my brush and then drag it right along the line of my chevron. Super easy. I love this brush. Place your brush and then just drag it right along the line. Giving you that beautiful chevron. Now I'm just going to clean up right here with a little clean it. Get a nice little point. Cure 30 seconds in an LED or one minute in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my glass slipper, a super high gloss no wipe top gel. Wipe away from you, just a little bit towards you. 
place about a 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle and push towards the cuticle and then nice long strokes cover the entire nail all the way to the side just a little bit at the tip cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV now I'm going to apply conditioning cuticle oil available in peach, gardenia, and true love, a vanilla sandalwood. And this is so good for the nails. It helps eliminate hang nails and helps the natural nail grow out really healthy. All your clients should have their conditioning cuticle oil at home, and this is all natural. Now we have the Give Me Spring Chevron French Long Acrylic Nail love that combination and how fun and easy was that striper this is so fun and easy to do your clients are going to love this and it's so easy to clean up just peel off your file strip disinfect your plastic boards fold up your disposable towel and throw everything away Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.